All right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, though, let's do this right. Let's get a breathing exercise done. Just so that you can control your core and you're not being pestered with thoughts subconsciously, being argumentative. You see, you're going to miss the punchline, and that is where the medicine's at. So that you can actually start using discernment and making sense of what it is you went through. And understand, I need you to have solid boundaries. Boundaries as a word means nothing. Boundaries must have teeth. Consequence. And you need to stick to it. So when you say goodbye, you mean it. It's forever. Five seconds. Because to narcissists, it, it's a game. To you, it's the end. Don't allow narcissists to come back and disturb your peace. You work too damn hard to put this all behind you, to allow the past to creep back in and disrupt it. You don't do do-overs. You don't allow dumpster divers to explain themselves. They're irrelevant. In their need to survive and live, they need validation from you that you still care. Oh, nay, nay. You're too busy to even be bothered with them. Let's take five seconds and ease ourselves into a logical space. Not emotions. You'll never win with feelings and emotions. These are temporary. And it too will pass. Five seconds. Come on, y'all. Release slowly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Bug out, bug out. <laughs> Vámonos, espíritus malos, bad spirits. Five seconds, man. That's a beautiful move, man. And it, it just brings you back to a space of relief. And let me tell you why. Once you understand it, the more you give to narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, the more they hate you. The weaker they believe you are. It's why it's always said that they mistake kindness for weakness until you've had enough. Now, let me tell you something. This is how you know you won against the narcissist. When the narcissist is trying to get you to attack them, you see, a narcissist needs an enemy, a villain. They need you to be their villain. Because they've told everybody around them how much you need them and how much you depend on them. You're projecting. They're the codependents, the Klingons. And the thing is, once they try to attack you, that's how you know you've won. Because this is a desperate move. And another thing is when they try to get you jealous. This is when they start monkey jumping to all the people you know, trying to get you to react. Because your response is killing them. And you're surrounded by people of your own kind. It's why you don't fall for the traps. Another thing is, they start to really exaggeratious that they are the victim. And they're going to try and convince anyone and everyone who will hear them out that you're the problem in hopes that they'll get a reaction out of you because they're trying to destroy you. They need you to come back and retaliatious against them. What happens is no response. You ghost. Your absence in silence reverses the spell they cast. What's that spell? The lies, the gossip, the smearing. All of that comes back to sender. And now they got to create more lies to support the lie. Now, 
how do you get a narcissist to flip their wig? You see, because uh, this is what happens. Once you get rid of the narcissist you've identified, now you got the orbiters next in line, the ones waiting their turn. Because they can do it better than the last narcissist and hide it more better is this. And they want a chance with you. How do you do it to have boundaries with teeth? Well, I'm going to give you some pointers. This is how I'm able to cause a hiccup. It's an ego death of sorts. You see, one thing's for sure with narcissists. They're always negative. They're always judgmental. And they always know someone who did it better than you if they didn't do it themselves. So when they approach you with this aura, this air about them, then all you have to say is very simply, man, can I ask you a question? How do you manage to stay so positive, so encouraging, and so happy? And their jaw will fucking drop. You see, warriors, narcissists know more than anyone. They're self-aware. And what you've done by mentioning this, their lack of happiness, self-awareness, and their own destructive behaviors, you've made it, you've made it very clear by exaggerating the obvious and showing them their own mirror reflection. You see, narcissists get their own divine bitch slaps, but they don't listen. You see, you're not here to try and fix the broken. They're lost. They're lost forever. They've made their mind up. Our goals need to be on the children. You see, they can be saved. They can be taught how to identify toxicity and defend themselves with boundaries that have teeth, that mean something. Warriors, we've spent too much time in society and on the interweb trying to point fingers at everyone and each other, both male and female, on the toxicity. We're shedding light on what the adults that are already ruined, have no future, and trying to act like you can go back and put a band-aid on broke. Sidestep a garnished turd. They're beyond repair. These dumpster divers, these narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, whatever you want to call them, what they're trying to sell you on is on a fixed bill of goods. Fraud imposters they run around trying to pretend to be empathic until they're not you see the truth is if your absence doesn't bother them then your presence never mattered just like if a narcissist or anyone you associate with can't even defend you in your presence, what do you think they're saying behind your back in your absence? Don't deny yourself the truth. You see, the pattern of behavior with gaslighting that narcissists use is so effective that even without the narcissist being present, you'll do it to yourself. I'm going to give you another pointer. I learned this long time ago in law enforcement. You see, there's so many ways to track you. So many people think they're off grid and they're really not off grid. But the obvious is this. Never ever set yourself up 
any technological pieces that you have, computers, cell phones, tablets, have an IP address, an identifier. They also have tracking your every move, whether you gave it permission or not. Narcissists have been using this tactic in trying to act like they need a computer or need a tablet or a phone and acquire it. The setup is this. They'll send themselves messages from that phone to them and use that as evidence and incriminate you and make it look like you're confessing to a crime you never committed nor are you aware of and make it look like you're having conversations. And two, a hacker can pull all information out of that phone that was ever sent or received, whether you deleted it or not. It's a ghost file. So if you get rid of your phones, erase them, but only trade them in to a manufacturer that you're buying another phone from. Or destroy it. Warriors, these tactics are being used and if I'm sharing it with you it's because I have coached thousands of you and the stories when I hear them consecutively after about the fourth one and there's a rhythm you see one thing we do is this connect dots. It's a trend. So I'm going to share it with you. This is how we stay 10 steps ahead of the criminal element we call narcissism. And they hate it because as soon as they think they're on to something, it's exposed. This is why narcissists despise you and they want to shut you up. Warriors, let's remind ourselves Big mistakes, things we shouldn't ignore, ever, 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 ever. They say they aren't high maintenance, but they need constant attention and affirmation. <laughs> oh, dang it, man. Want someone to share their entire life with who will leave them alone most of the time. Dang it, man. That's sad. Shit, no, not me. You in my life. I'm going to chase your ass whether I'm in a cane or a wheelchair. Grab that ass and buy you tacos. <laughs> Sports are the reason they're out of shape. They watch them on TV. Can't get shit done. Chronically dissatisfied. How do you do it? How do you do it to stay so positive and happy? Parties without you on a regular basis. Works from home but won't help around the house. Cast spells regularly. Gossips. <laughs> That's witchcraft, man. The lie. Sometimes they break the dishes so they don't have to wash them. Doesn't find anything funny. <laughs> Woke up in their neighbor's doghouse. So that, so that the narcissist can't go to their own house because they kicked out and then they go jump monkey jump to the neighbors and get bit and now they in the dog house at the night <laughs> oh damn it a pair of warm socks is a perfectly acceptable birthday gift yep very judgmental can't make this shit up man gonna get a what what <laughs> all right Let's check out what today's fortress has to say.
And the bird's gonna be happy, happy. I hear you. A passionate new romance will appear in your life when you least expect it. Can you say, Holy Father, Elohim, creator of all things? You see, that was your first passion. Your lucky numbers, 3, 39, 5, 49, 54, and 33. <laughs> Get out there knowing it. Warriors, thanks for your support. And look, don't forget, subscriptions, and don't forget to join. And somewhere around Xi'an is a Wounded Warrior Project. We've collaborated with the Wounded Warrior Project, made a commitment that they would be on every video for the year 2024. Warriors, thanks for your contributions. You see, the Wounded Warrior Project is warriors helping warriors. Because civilians who have never seen Combat will never understand. Just like many of the clinicians in this field who have never gone through the fields will never understand their clients. Gird yourselves with the armor of God. You've always had the shield and sword. You just had them put away somewhere. Now you're learning to use them, and narcissists will fear it. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. It's my best of the It's never goodbye.